something in my water. Wait, there's a little, there's a little dot of something floating in my water. Hold on, I was about to drink this. Wait, almost got it. Okay, I got it. And now I drink. Ugh. That water is thick. Only cause it's mixed with my meds. Because earlier this morning there was a little bit of blood that came out. And usually when there's a little bit... That usually means it's going to be quite a lot the next day, so I need to drink my meds and plenty of water. I've been feeling a little off all day because of it too. <clears throat> Alright. It's amiibo time. Because we're going to start with this. So, a couple things I want to talk about today, most of them regarding TV shows. Oh. Feel burp coming. So, you guys remember a couple days ago where I said I didn't play this because I went out? Ugh. There was a food festival. And I went out with some friends, and then I went out to dinner. Remember when I talked about that? And I said that I was in the sun all day? Well, I did get a little sunburned. And I got sunburned, of all places, on my nose. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, hopefully not, but my, my nose is uh, peeling a bit. The top layer of skin on my nose is peeling off. I've never got sunburnt on my nose before. I mean, it's only my nose, too. Nowhere else. Yep. Okay. So today I figured we would try to do the other two labyrinths. I know you all want me to fight Ganondorf, I want to as well, but I just don't feel prepared. I mean, if I run out of things to do, and I just can't figure out where I want to explore next, then I guess I can do it. Just get Ganondorf dealt with, and then we could just freely explore the rest of this game. Alright. So, I didn't play this yesterday night because, like I said previously, yesterday was the Season 3 finale of Superman and Lois. And, the not only the Season 1 finale, but the series finale as a whole for Gotham Knights because that show got cancelled. Which means, yes, I chose Gotham Knights over playing this. <laughs> I, chose, I chose watching Gotham Knights over playing this. What a sin. Well, I want to talk about those shows and something else. Because now that Superman and Lois uh, has finished its season and Gotham Knights is cancelled as a whole, the only shows I have left to watch as of this very moment is Walking Dead, Dead City, and Secret Invasion. Which, episode 2 was literally today. So I'll talk about that as well. Not too much for me to talk about regarding Secret Invasion, but there is some, certainly things I want to discuss. So, hope everyone's doing well. My mom did indeed get her teeth pulled out. I think she... I think it was mentioned three different teeth? Uh... Yep. So, as she recovers for who knows how long, maybe a week, 
Probably not because my mom is a bit of a workaholic. She'll probably still go to work regardless of if she's fully recovered or not. So until she's fully recovered, I'll have to substitute in. So I'll, I'll be having to go to work, which is like no, no real difference, but it's more like I gotta actually work. When it's busy, that means I actually have to work. Oh well. <clears throat> That's life, I guess. Almost done the amiibos. All right. Yep. So today, I finally got my goal bat to evolve into a crow bat at exactly level 30, just in time for it to get uh, the move wing attack. Finally, I can have it lose the move supersonic. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, supersonic, because uh, my crow bat already has uh, confuse ray. I don't remember how I did this in my original crystal playthrough. How did I use fly? Because I was planning on teaching uh, my Golbat, now Crobat, the move fly, but it turns out it can't learn fly. So I'm wondering, what did I do to have fly? Because right now what I'm doing is I have a Pidgeotto that I taught it fly, and it's not on my team. I just pull it out to use whenever I need fly. Okay, that one, that last one's probably just arrows as well. You probably had to do the same thing, just catch something random to have fly and then just only use it when I need to. See, I'll show you. Hold on, let me just pull my 3DS out. Wow, they just love giving me the sword, huh? I think I'm five gym badges in now. Or am I at six? I don't even know. I just beat the ice type gym. I forget the guy's name and I forget the name of the city. Uh... Well, I can certainly get rid of this. There have been other better weapons that I could have picked up. Uh, yeah, I'll just fuse it to this. Wait, no, actually. Is there another chest I can still open for a weapon? Sure! Yep. Okay, I have seven gym badges. Excellent! I see on the loading screen. You see? Look, this is where I'm at, whatever this gym is called. And if I go into my team... up oh, there you go. You can see... Well, it's in French, but that is definitely a crowbat. If I go into stats, there you go. It's in French. I can't speak French, so I need a walkthrough to help me, you know, go through it. Just curious. I feel like that hat is heavy. It seems my knowledge was useful to Toro and his colleague for their investigation. I'm glad. Ah, I thought you were going to say something about praying to these frogs. It's okay. To sell these armors, I go. I also, I'm also curious, where is the light dragon? Oh. 
Oh. Like, where do I find her? Do I have to go back here to the peninsula? Uh, where is it? Over here? We could take a look. By the way, check this out. I got new sunglasses yesterday. Look at this. It's a Ray-Ban sunglasses. You can you can barely see, but it's a very nice red color. It doesn't come off as nice through the camera, but I like it. You know how long I've been uh, I've been searching for a red pair of sunglasses? Here, take a look. What do you think? You can barely tell, but uh, yeah, I've been I've been searching for a red pair of sunglasses for so long. It's not easy to find a red pair. You know, I would have taken the frame itself being red or the lens being red. It took me so long to find something like this. I didn't even find it myself. What happened was a sales rep came to the store. She showed me this and told me it comes in red, and I'm just like, okay, I'll take it. In fact, there's another one. There's another one, which uh, I don't know if my family ordered for me. Another red one, that is. Similar to this, just a different shape. It's like the material and the design would be the same. Anyways. So, I don't see no light dragon here. I wonder where she is. But, let's go and try the other two labyrinths. There's one here, the closest... I'm sure there's got to be some shrine somewhere around here. So, let's get talking about these goddamn shows. Uh, actually, before I say that, let me also mention that I currently... I'm still hunting for a shiny Hisuian Sneasel, another one. I said I was going to change from... Uh, hunting two to hunting three. Hunt one male and female because of the gender difference. And then hunt another one just to evolve. Well, I am 1,740 eggs in. And the only shiny I've gotten... Oh, come on. There's another star fragment. At least now I can see it. The only shiny I've gotten was at egg number 30. <laughs> so, 1,710 eggs later. And I still... Do not have a second shiny. This is like... How many eggs did it take me for Quillfish? Let me take a look. Because I have it all written. Quillfish took me... Oh my god. A total of 1,782. No, 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 no. No, that was the first one. No. Total was 2,191 eggs. And the first shiny came at... 1,182. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so the numbers are getting pretty close. I swear, the total just keeps going up. Uh, in regards to how many eggs I need to hatch total to get as many as I want. I wanted two Hisuian... Uh, Growlithe, Voltorbs, and Quillfish. Now I'm hunting for three Sneasels. For Growlithe, total was 1,400. Voltorb, total... Th oh my god! Two? Wait, let me grab... Yes! Wait, two can spawn at once? I didn't know two can spawn at once. Excellent! We got two! I could probably- You know what? Should I walk the rest of the way? Nah, I shouldn't, because I, I have to climb the mountain again. Oh, I didn't know two can spawn at once. Wasn't it only one can spawn at a time during Breath of the Wild? Or maybe I'm wrong about that. Or maybe they really did change it so that multiple can spawn in this game. But that's awesome! I just got two! Yeah! That's a that's gonna be a really big help. Okay. So I'm still hatching for Hisui and Sneasel eggs. Was that another one? I swear to god. No, I think it was just that light glitching out. 
Peninsula. I think I can see it right there. Let me get a little bit of stamina over here at the Skyland. Ugh. Yeah, I'm probably going to take that red pair of sunglasses on vacation. Anyways, so let's talk about these goddamn shows. So first up, I'm going to talk about Superman and Lois Season 3 Finale. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get the uh, useless stuff out of the way first. Pa Ooh, wait, 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 wait. So the first half of the episode was kind of boring, just because it focused on character development. Okay, guess not. Character development, like ending these character stories, because in season four, almost none of these characters are going to return. I said almost. Some of them are going to guest star every now and then in season four. But it was like the last 20 minutes, maybe, where, you know, shit really hit the fan. So I don't really have a control for this. That would be nice. Ah, it's not like I need it anyways. Well, it'd be great to get over there. But we'll do the ground one first. So, Lex Luthor. Uh, and this is something I wanted to talk about for quite a while, but I figured I'd wait for the Season 3 finale first. The character I feel so bad for in Superman and Lois, like I feel the worst for, is Bizarro. Because you have to remember, this isn't just Bizarro. He is Clark Kent. He is Superman of the Inverse world. Like, this is Clark of another world. And look what happened to him. He got addicted to XK. Ali Alston destroyed his life. He ended up on another world. He became the villain Bizarro. And he got experimented on by Bruno Mannheim. And it seems like his story ends by becoming Doomsday. I feel so bad for this Clark Kent. Because you have to remember, this Clark Kent has to at least be similar to the Clark that we know. This Clark Kent, you know, uh, escaped Krypton. He grew up in Kansas. He was adopted by uh, Jonathan and Martha w uh, Wayne. <laughs> Jonathan and Martha Kent. He went to Smallville High. He married Lois Lane and had two sons. He had frickin' Crypto the cat. So I feel so bad for this, uh, this Clark because he is Superman. And look what's become of him. Superman became Bizarro and then became Doomsday. Like, I feel so bad for him. And to see what, you know... Like, don't forget he's, he's a father. He's got two sons, and because of all the stuff that's happened to him, he kind of left his world defenseless. I assume Jonathan L., his son, is locked up for f uh, being a follower of Ali Alston. Okay, you're clearly giving me these for a reason. Research log day one. According to Toro, the characters uh, carved into the stone slab read as follows. <clears throat> the dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth's depths. Wake it and ye shall receive due, due compensation. Yeah. <clears throat> now that Toro's gone off to examine the other ruins, I have no choice but to tough out the rest of this research alone. I'll leave a trail of acorns and nuts behind me so I don't get lost. So they're... They're giving me this for a reason. Why? Oh, I can't even... The, the tent! Approaching the tent the wrong way. Uh... I'll take it, but, you know... It's kind of a shame to lose this, but I can get this back anytime. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Okay, so this is the first one. Where's the second one? There it is. Oh, you know what this fog reminds me of? So yesterday when I didn't play this, I left work, and at first I thought, 
are the wildfires still going on, or is it just extremely foggy right now with the air smelling pretty bad? You guys remember a while ago I mentioned that there are Canadian wildfires going on and the air quality has just completely dipped? Well, if I think it's bad here, then it's especially bad at New York. You guys seen the news, right? Like, it's been especially bad these past two days for me. When I go out, the air stinks. And I, you know, I've even coughed like once or twice. While, while standing outside for a little bit, you know, not not chronically, just like just a, a light <coughs> like that. Research log day two. I've searched each passage one by one and haven't found anything, but I've got a good feeling about this last one. The only thing keeping me from exploring it now is the late hour. I'll try to contain my excitement and get some sleep. Where's the nuts? There it is. <sighs> Anyways, <sighs> so I am uh, a little side note before we continue. I am loving Michael Cutlitz's Lex Luthor. He doesn't feel like Lex Luthor, but it's just the the actor behind him. Because I love Michael Cutlitz. He was great as Abraham. So you know, having Abraham play Lex Luthor is a big win for me. Let me just look up the actor's name again, just to make sure I don't get it wrong before I, before I mention this part. Okay. So, something I hate about modern Lex Luthor and how they're being done is the facial hair. The beards. I hate that they are doing that with Lex Luthor. That's a sun shroom, that's not a nut. So, something tells me this is not the way to go. So I hate that Lex Luthor these days has beards, has facial hairs. The Lex Luthor I know should be bald and clean shaven. They did it with John Cryer's Lex Luthor. He had a beard. Uh, this version of Lex... Played by Michael Cutlets, he has a, a goat, a long goatee-like beard, and the version of Lex Luthor on Titans, who I didn't even realize was played by Titus Welliver. I didn't even realize it was him. I'll be honest, I didn't even know the actor's name. I've seen him in some projects here and there. Like I like the actor, I just never knew his name, so I didn't even know it was him. I didn't know the actor who played Lex on Titans was Titus Welliver. Like, he just looks that different, bald and with that enormous beard. I mean, hey, I like the actor, so him playing Lex Luthor is another dub in my view. What? In my book. But I just hate the Lex Luthor these days with the beards. I hate it. Okay, I'm, a, I'm at least on the right path. Day three. No matter how far I go or which way I turn, everything looks the same. It's all covered in energy-sapping gloom. I've somehow managed to swallow, pause, my overwhelming desire to run home and will attempt to... S what? To run home and will attempt to spend the night here. I just hope I have enough acorns to mark my way to the end. <sighs> Oh, that's why they gave me this. I only now realize. Oops. So I see no acorns there. So, uh, okay, back to Superman and Lois. So Lex Luthor turned Bizarro into Doomsday. Because of whatever experiments Bruno Mannheim did to Bizarro made him unkillable and that every time, every time he dies, he gets stronger. 
So I feel really bad for this Clark Kent. Whoops. All right, another nut here. Uh-oh. Go, 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 go. Damn. We're not in the depth, so it's not permanently gone. Research log day four. I can't believe I'm writing this, but I'm standing in front of ancient Zonai ruins. What a tremendous discovery. This makes the terror and uncertainty of getting here completely worth it. It's just a shame for me that I have no idea what these ruins are, but I'll head back and report to people who might. Great. More for me. That thing is exuding gloom. Oh, once I get close to it, it's gone, huh? So, once again, poor Bizarro, but... So, remember how Superman and Lois, we didn't know if it was going to be renewed for Season 4? And we were also told that it would be ending on a bit of a cliffhanger? It wasn't just a bit of a cliffhanger, it was a goddamn huge cliffhanger. So, Superman fights Doomsday. Doomsday, by the way, has the inverted Superman emblem on his chest. Love that detail. Uh, this, uh, this Doomsday design kind of reminds me of Abomination. Particularly from the Incredible Hulk film in 2008. It was 2008, right? Or, or no, it was 2010. Uh. Right? No, was it 2008? Shit. No, Iron Man 2 came out in 2010. The Incredible Hulk was in 2008. Whatever. Like, it reminds me of the Abomination design, particularly from that film. Anyways, so the CGI looked... looked really good, especially for network television, and especially for the CW. Like, we've had atrocious... CGI on the CW before, looking at you, Flash. So, you know, Superman and Lois, with the high quality writing, acting, uh, special effects, elite Superman anything project. So Superman uh, fights Doomsday, and I thought the cliffhanger was going to be Death of Superman, because that usually comes with... Uh, Superman fighting Doomsday. But I suppose uh, not this time. <sighs> Excuse me. Alright, do the next one. I don't have all the resources to get to the labyrinth and the sky just yet. So we'll have to do those another time. So, uh, it seems like Doomsday is winning against Superman. But then, Superman gets the upper hand, and they fight on the goddamn moon! They fought on the moon! So, Superman and Doomsday charging at each other it has a great shot of the two of them in slow-mo charging, and then um, with the uh, on the moon with the Earth in the background. And then it just, it just ends. The episode ends there. A bit of a cliffhanger, they said. That's a freaking enormous cliffhanger. And there was a slim chance that this show was going to be cancelled. Could you guys believe that? Could you guys believe they were about to just leave us on a cliffhanger? A cliffhanger like that? Uh, I've seen so much praise online for this episode. People giving it a 10 out of 10. I don't know if I'd go that far. Like I said, the beginning, like, two-thirds of the episode was a bit slow. 
So I don't know if I would give the entire episode a 10 out of 10. People would really just, uh, would really just watch the, the last, like, 15, 20 minutes. I don't know if I would give it a 10 out of 10. I'd give it, like, a, like an 8. Quick, beat it while it's down. Oh, you're still alive, huh? Where's the other mobla? Oh, you're you're still alive. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I want no beef, Yiga clan. I'm just passing by. Mm -hmm. You're a traveler. Eh? Ah. Damn, that was a long loading time. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> Look at that, my three favorite colors. Just passing by, Yiga. Oh, we also have to, at some point, go see what the Yiga clan hideout is talking about. Ooh, there's a shrine right there! Mind if I don't! So, uh... Dylan Walsh, who plays Sam Lane... I don't think he's coming back for season four, so uh, his character just kind of left the show. He was taken by one of Lex's goons, <laughs> and we don't see him ever again. Uh, I would not be surprised if they're just going to say he was killed off screen. What's this place called? Flotational Brilliance. Just taking a look around. That's not what I thought would happen. Okay, physics engine. That's not realistically how the physics would work, I think. Huh. Am I supposed to cut that? I don't know if I did that right. So it seems like I clearly need that over here. Can I fuse that aboard? I just got to a weapon. Do I have anything? 
I mean, that'd be a, that'd be honestly pretty hilarious. Can I fuse this whole thing? Oh no, it's attached to the wall. Never mind. But I can't screw myself by completely uh, 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 getting rid of this by fusing it. I don't imagine this will do too much damage. So what did you guys think about the Superman and Lois Season 3 finale? Okay, very clearly, very clear what I need to do here. Oh, you didn't attach to both? Oop, wrong way. Okay, let's next talk about Gotham Knights, the final episode ever. <laughs> you know, it's a bit sad seeing this show go, because it, it honestly wasn't too bad of a show. Yes, it was woke now and then. And, uh, you know, everyone, everyone you, oh god. Everyone you see talk smack about this show online, I really don't think they actually watch the show. And if they did, fair enough. Like, if you hate Gotham Knights, fair enough. I don't blame you. Like, I really don't. Okay, does the fan work underneath? Does it work like a propeller? Maybe not. Okay, I have a solution. Oh god, it does. No, you get back here. Did I get a chest in here yet? No, I did not. Oh, I see it. Never mind. But yeah, I really do believe if you just simply take out some of the woke elements from Gotham Knights, it's not too bad of a show. Too bad it's canceled, so it doesn't matter. So in this finale, the, the the part I found to be ridiculous is the idea that all these kids are able to, to even come close, even come close to being able to hold their ground against five talents. We're still not done, huh? Like... There's, there's no way these kids, with just a little bit of bat tech, is able to fend off, or at least even remotely close, be able to hold off five talons. Because uh, they, they did have some bat tech, but that's not enough. Five talons? That's not enough. They should be dead. The entire police force couldn't take down or even hold off five talons, and these kids were just a couple of gadgets. So the uh, so that part kind of took me out of it. So aside from that uh, ridiculousness, that is very hard to believe. Let's see. So, the standout for the finale is Harvey Dent. Misha Collins playing Har Harvey Dent. And we all called it. We all knew this would happen because there was behind the scenes of uh, Misha Collins doing Two-Face makeup. And because we haven't seen him look like Two-Face the entire season, we knew that it was probably going to be a, 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 a season finale type of thing. At least it wasn't the cliffhanger, you know? 
So we finally got to see Misha Collins as Two-Face. Too bad it's for really just one scene. There were like two other scenes before before that where he was in makeup, but they didn't actually sh properly show his Two-Face. So really for just one scene, he was Two-Face. And I gotta say, he looked pretty good. The makeup was pretty good. I sent that clip of him being Two-Face to one of my friends, and he asked, how is he talking? I'm just like... He has half his mouth. Half his mouth is, you know, closed and working. So at the very end, he flips the Court of Owls coin. I like that. You know, the coin being a Court of Owls coin. I kind of like that. But him flipping that coin, and then he just kills Jane Doe. They couldn't, you know, they couldn't have the rights to use the name Harley Quinn. Or Harleen Quinzel, so they just called her Jane Doe. It's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> My god. Rivali's Gale would be excellent right now. So, season finale. Or the series finale. So, they, they kept on giving us twists. Like, multiple twists with Turner's parents. First, they were killed. And, and Bruce adopted Turner. And then, we were led to believe why did, you know, the world's greatest detective never solve his adopted son's parents murder oh because batman killed them but batman doesn't kill and then in the finale we find out that turner's parents were very dangerous murderers and uh who were sent to kill batman and batman was only defending himself and that's how turner's parents kill got killed and then he was defending himself from his parents and whatever so just a bunch of twists Uh, they also introduced this villain character that I'm not too familiar with. He was set up to be in Season 2, but that's never happening. I mean, all in all, Season 1 of Gotham Knights, the only season, did leave pretty, uh, bookended. If, uh, if not for the, uh, Season 2 tease. All in all, it could just be a one and done season. Like, it's not that bad. There's not really too many loose ends, aside from, well, the Season 2 setup. Uh... What else? Trying to think of what else. You know, starting off the show, I didn't know too much about Duella's character. So I was really confused why everyone online was calling her Duella Dent. When the show was, was saying she was the Joker's daughter. If the Joker's name was John Doe, wouldn't her name be Duella Doe, not Duella Dent? Because, you know, she's not Harvey Dent's daughter. Well, turns out she is. I didn't really know too much about this character. Research log day one. It took us two days to reach this isolated island. Though the ruins stood before us, we were too exhausted to explore. Though weary, Toro was able to decipher the Zonai writing on the stone slab. <coughs> the dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth's depths. Wake it and ye shall receive due compensation. While his translation provided me with renewed vigor, Toro shortly thereafter fell ill with fatigue. After seeing him off on his way home, I swore to tackle the ruins myself. The acorns and nuts I have prepared to mark my path should see to it that I do not get lost inside. My god, why did I read that so badly? 
Though I am not alone, I need to work hard enough for both Toro and myself. Alright. Oh, you're kidding me. You're joking, right? You're, you're not telling me that I need, uh, I need to build rafts to get across. Ah. Uh, so where's the second nut? Where's the path I should be following? Wait a sec, they gave me ice fruit and arrows. What happened to this place? I can't even find where the next spot for me to go is. I think I saw something that way. This way. Nope. Bruh, I can't even find where to continue past the first nut. My god, you are all so distracting. I really just need Minoru as, uh, uh, well, active. Okay, this way. Finally. Uh, so at the end of Gotham Knights, Wayne Tower was blown up. It uh, crumbled. It it tumbled. The building came down. Turner was still in there because he didn't want to leave Bruce's journals behind. They're the last bit of Bruce left. So he went. He stayed back to get them, but uh, he got ambushed by the court. But he was saved by whoever that villain was at the very end, who I'm not too familiar with. I don't even remember his name. Uh, so everyone in Gotham thinks he's dead, including his friends. When really, he's I don't even know where. So, we're just going to be left forever thinking... The Gotham Knights thinks Turner's dead, but he's really alive and elsewhere. Oh well. I enjoyed the show, aside from some of the woke moments. Once again, my two favorite scenes from the show was in... Episode 4, when we first saw the Court of Owls. 
the way the Court of Owls showed up inside of Wayne Manor, plus the music was mm, very good to me. To me, at least. And then the other awesome scene that was really shocking when it first aired was when Lincoln slit, Link, uh, Lincoln slit Turner's throat. Like, he didn't hesitate. And that was really smart, too. If that really is Electrum, then it could save his life. You know, realistically, Turner would have been dead within seconds. The amount of time it took for them to just ponder, like, oh shit, we, we don't have the real Electrum. Turner's dying, and we can't save him. The amount of time it took for that, and for, uh, for Carrie to offer, like, let me save him, and it's yours... Yeah, in that amount of time, Turner would have been long dead. But, you know, whatever. It's a show. Definitely want to unequip that now. Another one. Uh, ooh. Journal's right there, that's good. Oh, hello! I didn't find any chest in the previous one. I have plenty of these. Actually, wait a second. Beautiful. It... Look, the, the icon barely shows any difference, but uh, rest assured, there is a difference. Unequip. This is only day two. I walk carefully, avoiding the stirring gloom. Just one touch and it will invade the body j in the blink of an eye. I was a wa it was a wise decision to send Toro home. Allowing him to continue our trek in his condition may have proved not provided may have proved fatal. But what exactly is this strange gloom? More importantly, have they found the princess and her swordsman who delved beneath Hyrule Castle to investigate it? I can only pray for their safety. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. Your prayer worked wonders because clearly I am now safe. Oh, I'm alive. Let's say that. No one's safe with Ganondorf still uh, running around. Rehydrating as we speak, I assume. <coughs> you know, I haven't seen the final boss for this game, so I don't know if we're going to fight dehydrated or rehydrated Ganondorf. But when we fought... Uh, <coughs> when we fought Phantom Ganon, he was still dehydrated. So, uh, I wonder. I wonder if he's gonna find a way to rehydrate himself. Is there room for Yonobo's big ass to be in here somewhere? No? Fine. Let's see. Up. My god, where is it? How do I do this? I always need to check. Throw material. Oh, it's R. I was holding ZR. Oh. <laughs> 
Who needs Fire Mario when you have Fire Link? Was there nothing to that? What even is up there? I'm diverging from the path, and that's not good. Oh, it's a weapon. Let us do more. I... You know what, never mind. I was gonna say I should equip... I should fuse the scepter to the longsword. It doesn't matter. So, enough talk about Gotham Knights, a show that everyone hates. Which, you know, I'm not offended that everyone hates it. I may enjoy it, but if people shit on the show, it's like, I can see where you're coming from. There is indeed woke shit in it. Research Log Day 3. My researching has finally led me to a Zonai Relic. I must hurry back and tell Turo all about it. Though I must admit, my curiosity remains piqued. I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to leave these ruins. For instance, I can see a lower level from this room. Just how is one supposed to reach it? That's a good question. I don't know. <sighs> Another one I don't know how to do just yet. We'll figure that out in due time. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. What? So, uh, wait a second. Oh, that's right! This place had a, another room! Had a lower level, right! A blessing? Just for me? You shouldn't have. I would definitely take that. How many of those do I have now? 18. I thought I would have more. But hey, shrines are good. Doing more shrines is good. And I did say up next I would get another stamina. So let's see what's what this bottom level is talking about. I could go to other places too and check out what's going on there, kind of like Eventide Island. But didn't I already go to Eventide? I don't think I did. I think there's a chasm there now, right? Yeah, there is a chasm here. I don't think I've been to Eventide yet. YOLO. What the hell? Oh, this thing again. Face me, bitch. Let go of me. Oh, now, of all times? Fine. Uh. I hope I'm gonna get another one of these. What am I even attacking there? Oh my god. Uh, I need my entire Avengers. That's another one down. Where's the next three? I thought I only have one left. Oh, that's cool. They actually grabbed the other characters. Alright, show yourself. Where are you? There you are. 
Yeah, how you like being- Oh, you got that big one! I was about to say, how you like being attacked by your own weapon! Get off that gloom! My hearts aren't healing. Oh, right, I have no bow. I can't go any further back! Oh god! Stop standing on the gloom! Stop standing on the gloom! I'm gonna die. Yes! Oh, I wanted to fuse this to the Master Sword, but it's uh, kind of, kind of out of commission right now. I mean, this is a pretty good weapon. There, a, a 91 weapon! It, it's a little bit damaged, but you know what? It's a small price to pay for salvation. Yep. Big battery. Is there anything else down here I should get? I wonder where I'll be if I ascend from some of these. Whoa, another oh! I was about to say another level down. Whoops, whoops, whoops. What the fuck? That was a colossal failure. Wow, that was a, a, a supreme fail. I didn't think he would climb up! Can I still hit it? Can I still hit it? Can I still hit it? No. I was about to say, don't you tell me there's Korok all the way down here. Oh, there's a whole cave system down here. What? I did not expect that. Oh, this is a really good one, though. Uh... Sure, I could use this up for now. This is a pretty moist cavern. What the hell? Where did my thunder go? Ooh, he has another good bow. Run! Are you kidding me? Okay, drop the bow I'm currently using. 
And give me this. Huh. It's a little bit damaged. So should I... I'll just leave it like that for now. Is there anything underwater I should know about? I still can't believe there's no underwater travel in these games. Like, really, Nintendo? I suppose it would have been way too much if there were. Uh, in regard to, like, the beach. If you were at the shores of Lurlin, then you would have all that you could explore. We haven't really seen luminous stones too much in this game. What's in here? Is it a horrible one? No, it's a like-like. You know, but your big ass is in my way. I couldn't even see that. Oh, wait. I don't want to use this. This is a good bow. I want to use something else. Yanobo, where are you when you're needed? What the hell, man? Where does this place lead to? I don't want that. That's horrible. Wow, that is garbage. I don't want that. You know what? Uh, I wouldn't... Hmm, wait a second. Let me see if I have it, have any. Ooh, that's a... I was gonna fuse a topaz to this, but it's, uh... I don't have too many. Will you settle for a, sh a zap shroom? I was about to call it a shock shroom. I guess not. God damn, that one hit hard. Still three and a half minutes. What? Silver! Well, that looks more like a, a cow's tongue. Does it not? Kind of looks more like a cow's tongue. Okay, that's the strongest horrible end that we're going to see. Well, you know, in terms of rankings. Maybe there's a malice version of that. I 
I still hear stuff down here. Whoa. You know what? Let me just eat some of this first. Anything in the water? No, but there's a path. There's a path down the water. Oh, a split path. Uh, I'll go up first, I guess. Are those electric keys? Oh, anyways, so, uh, enough of Gotham Knights, I'll talk about Secret Invasion Episode 2. So, uh, the biggest standout in this episode, at least to me, we finally got to meet Nick Fury's wife, because remember, he, re he mentioned he had a wife in, uh, Captain America, the Winter Soldier. And I really did not expect his wife to be a scroll. So this whole time, Nick Fury has been clapping alien cheeks. Wow, I really did not expect that. I mean, Star-Lord claps green alien cheeks. Or at least he wish he could. No, he's, no, he definitely can. It's just a surprise that this entire time Nick Fury has been married to a scroll. Like, I can't be the only one who's... A little, a little surprised by that. Like the entire MCU timeline now, we know Nick Fury claps scroll cheeks. I mean, if you ask me, that's a complete W right there. A scroll can shape shift into any anyone you want. That's a W in my book. So, uh, you know, good job, Nick Fury. Yes! Man, it's already been 10 minutes. Imagine finding a truffle all the way down here. I think that's it. That's the end of the path. At least for here. So let's. Oh, hello. And I have the stealth armor now. I can actually get those! So we should go back. Oh, damn it! It's moist down here. It's damp. Damn it! You're sure I can't just like you know kill these guys? Ugh. Like kill them, they drop, and I pick them up. Hey, I haven't been in here yet. Can I pick this up? There we go. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's not too bad. Yep. 
Nice, a big hearty truffle. Okay, anything underneath this? No. Where was that split path decision? I think it was past here. Yeah, here it is. So now I go this way. I was going to say down, but this isn't exactly going down. There's nothing! It looks like there's a whole lot of nothing waiting here for us. Well, that's disappointing. Am I supposed to... Find something on top of this? For going this way? Uh, no. I did see some pirate ships over here. Past where the shrine is. Is that it is? Another one? Which one goes higher? Mm. Let's see what this one's talking about. pirate ships there. I thought there were only two. This is probably stupid. I'm gonna die once I board those. What is that? That square over there, you see that? Some cubed explosives. Oh god. Damn it, I didn't want you to fall overboard. How am I supposed to pick up your shit now? I'm still gonna do it. Why is there a barrel back here? Probably just arrows in this. But I have room for them. There's an armored one there, a frickin' bow coblin there. Wait, no, moblin, not bow coblin. Oh my god, get up the ladder! If 
If only I could attach these to my arrows. Oh, hold still for me, Moblin. Damn. What? I didn't know it would tick. Yes, stay. You fools! Oh, the one with armor fell off! <laughs> oh, I didn't know these were time bombs. Oh, I was about to say, is that a door? Nope. I didn't know the cubed bombs were timers. Or had timers. Hey, it took care of the armor one for me. Oh my god, you can see barnacles on the ship. Those are barnacles, right? Here, have another one. Yes, go investigate it. You absolute moron. Here, have it have it again. What is that burning? Oh, now you're smart enough to know to get away from it. That's okay. I can just sneakily take care of you like so. Ooh. Actually, that's not bad. Wait. Wait a second. This uses regular arrows now. It doesn't use light arrows. Or does it? Well, I guess we'll find out. How many arrows do I have? I can't see. 82. 982. So I can hold a couple more. Red barrel, thank you. Anything else here for me to get? Oh yeah, there's a, there was that one up there, of course. Oh, I thought there was a chest up here. Never mind. Oh, they don't come to me. That's fine. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab the goddamn ladder! Link, you buffoon! Okay, let me take care of you first. Oh, just an eye? No wings? Fine. Arrowcuda. Isn't there a Pokemon called Arrowcuda? That evolves into Barrascuda?
another one of you. Just gonna come down to get my drops. Or get your drops. Whoa! Do I have anything that can fuse with the giant ball? Let me take down the archer on top first. Did all the fire fruit get lost there? God damn it! Wow, that moblin's not helping at all. Don't you dare, don't you dare! Okay, I don't need to sneak around anymore. Let me get a little bit better defense. It's probably smarter for me to have this on. And it is! It's raining, so my fire arrows get put out. I think that's it for the enemies on this boat. On top of that, no. So that's the boat over there I haven't been to yet. That one looks he heavily armed. I would like to take down the Aracuda first. Where is it? There it is. And of course it falls in the water! Oh, yeah, we could still go to Terrytown. Are there any timed bombs here? Time bombs? No. Ooh, the chest over there. So I see one silver bokoblin and a boss bokoblin. That's all I see. But there has to be more, right?
I don't have a shield equipped. It is chaos! Oh, one of them died. Yep, there was another bull goblin here. Oh, the silver one died. That's a lot of arrows. Too bad I can't carry anymore. You guys deal with the boss bull goblin, please. While I try to get back on top. Nope, I figured they wouldn't. So if I just... Yes, it does. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't the log just turn into wood? Very curious why my dogs are barking so much. I gotta go and take a look. You fool! You let your guard down! This, whatever's in this chest better be the gas, you know? Because all that work to get this. It's alright. Okay, that's these done. What is all that? What happened to there? Ooh, a dragon somewhere. Where and which one? It's Dinrail. Okay. Uh, you know what? The idea is in my mind. I want to see what's going on with Terrytown. Let's get, let's go do it. We could also go see what's up with the Yiga Clan too. Yiga Clan hideout, I mean. What is that? Is that a Sky Island or a dragon? That's a dragon! Give me my... Uh, Champion's Leather. I like Champion's Tunic better. It has a better name. So just gonna follow this path to Terrytown, because I don't want to just fly down there and just skip whatever else is going on. Oh man, seems like the path to Terrytown has seen better days. Damn it! This bow has really good accuracy, too. Crap, they noticed me! I was gonna see if I could do a sneak strike, but clearly that wasn't gonna work regardless. Oh my god, that guy approaches, uh, uh, approaches, approaches fast! That wasn't even the Silver Bow Goblin, like I thought! Give me the wood! Fine! 
Oh! Oh, I thought you were gonna tumble down and die. Oh, that's no fun. I'm not gonna fight you on that slope. That's not worth it. But I will raid your camp, however. I don't want to accidentally hit myself. That did nothing. Bruh, you're still alive? Uh, just gonna leave. We're going to Terrytown. No, you're facing that direction. Are you kidding me? Of course this is here. Uh, we'll do this another time. What is all this? Oh, that's the entrance to Terrytown. Where is it? That recallable stone? There's that, and why is there another one? What the hell? What is that? Oh, that's the chasm. Just gonna take down this camp real quick. Oh, thanks. How was that a miss? What? Damn it. Okay, what weapon do I want to use next? Where? 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 There you are.
actually. Oh, much better. To Terry can uh <laughs> wow. To Terry Town I go. Is that a shrine? Have I done that one? Yes, I have. There's no green swirl around it. Or on top of it. Ah, Terrytown. The place I spent so hard to help build. What? I spent so hard? Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna stick with that. Ah, that Terrytown music! Hint of something, hint of some new themes in here. Wait, that's a... Hint of Rita Village in here? Whatever you need. Fly Sun ends in Sun. Welcome to the general store operated by Hudson Construction. You'll know us by our motto, Sun and Done. I Am I right that this is your first time in our shop? Huh. Did you come because you heard we started carrying monster extract? That's right. I'm proud to be the only merchant who sells monster extract. My main business used to be useful things you can attach to arrows for a little extra oomph. But a contact of mine helped me source monster extract, and now I have a sideline in that too. Uh. If you're interested, I can hook you up. Mm. Wait, was I returned them to you? What? Wait, what did you just say? If you stick things together that you didn't mean to, try talking to Pellison over there. He'll have them separated in a jiffy and return them to you. No sweat. Interesting. So he can do that. Ooh. 50 rupees? Uh, never mind. Oh. Now that I know you're the only place in all of Hyrule to sell this, I can come back whenever I need. Hey, th uh, these things here free to break? Thanks. Preesh. What's going on here? Oh, wow! Hey, Gilton! My lips do curl into a grin at the honor of bumping into you again. And on such a handsome night, too. Really? Handsome night? <laughs> if you say so. You met, it, uh, you met again with my younger brother Colton, didn't you? I can smell it. He is a bit eccentric. I know, I know. But I hope you'll find it inside your heart to treat him with kindness. Ah, where are my manners? I have yet to greet you properly. Kilton, at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from monster parts, you see, and traveled about selling them from my shop. Kilton, you don't, you not remembering me hurts me. But once I had saved up a tidy little nest omelet, what? I gave that stall to my younger brother. Now I've purchased this plot of dirt land so I can at last make a real dream I've dreamed since I was a wee Kilton. Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy, and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck in my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. Eee! I am a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. What is your dream? 
The truth is, and this is just between you and me, I have adored monsters ever since I was a wee Kilton. Wow, what a surprise. Oh, uh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, What? Monsters? Disgusting! Disgusting! But here you are, so sensitive to my sense of sensitivities. I almost said sensibility. I know, I know, monsters are violent creatures that dis despised and despised, Jesus Christ, and despised the world over because of that. I can't deny. But they're also misunderstood. The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them? Pitiful. Tragic. You know who didn't do that? Monster Maze. And so I will educate the world about monsters. Once again, Monster Maze already did that with his Life as a Bokoblin documentary. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. That's a I'm sorry, man. That's a that's a L dream right there. But for my plan to succeed, I required the assistance of the finest carpenter in all of the land, Hudson. <laughs> he he ho ho. As soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle, the likes of which no one has ever seen but has seen before. Okay, it's not even like a side quest. So, what else is new around the good, the 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 the, the good town of Terry? Haggy or Hadji. Your name doesn't end in sun. Ugh, I thought it might be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock is giving me the creeps. I'll take it off your hands. I gotta hurry and find some sucker to- hmm? I'll take it! Heading to the construction site, eh? There's a small fee to use the rail car. I co I'll collect that for you. 20 rupees, no exceptions, but you need to pay it once. One fee, unlimited rides. Oh, sure. Here you go. Yes, profit, profit. The controls are simple. Just give it a whack to either start or stop it. You're free to use it as you please now. <laughs> What's the rock? You're interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stole, I mean, I took it as a memento. <laughs> but if you're interested, oh my god. <sighs> a hundred rupees for a shrine. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, you're not about to talk this man out of selling me this. I will take it! Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? I mean, hey, if you're going to help me get it for free, I won't be complaining. Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. Sure, you could look at it that way. I'd call 60. No, 50. 50 rupees, a more than fair price. B but I already said an absolutely fair price. And he might have... Okay, no need to stern, no need for the stern wife look. I don't know why. Okay, she sh she sh she should have called him out after he received the money, cuz you know, money is still money. Business is still business. His his profit and income will help pay for you as well. Kept you fed as well. It's a real deal at just just 50 rupees. I will pass. You will let me pay you the hundred, and that's final. I was gonna take it regardless, but your wife just had to help cut me a better deal. So of course. Ooh. Yeah, 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 here's your run. Here's your money. Now get out of my way. I got business to do with this thing. No refunds. <gasps> no problem. Even if I wanted a refund, once I'm done with this rock, you can't have it back anyways. Okay. Uh, now what do I do with it? Of course. I was about to say, like, I didn't do the thing yet where the beam, the, the light guides it. So I'm like, what do I do now? Are you serious? That's a long way away. That's across the water. Bruh. Bruh. Motherfuck! Are you kidding me? <sighs> hey, can I have this as well? Nope. 
Okay, so let's see what this unlimited ride is for. Wow, you guys have really outdone yourself with this. It seems like it's, uh, oh, I was about to say a dead end there, never mind. It's pointing that way, so it will it will go this way. There's the the puppet Ganon. No, Phantom Ganon. Oh! There's no Zelda this time. Oh, I I, I was gonna let this play out to see if Zelda would still say stuff. There's no Zelda. Oh, there's no fake Zelda. Oh, that's cool. That's an interesting detail there. Once again, pretty petty of Ganondorf to have, have, uh, you know, have it narrated. This is pretty cool. Look at that. They barbed wired it down. It's a bit slow, I'll give it that, but it gets the job done. Oh my god! Man, you know I don't like roller coasters. Hudson Construction Site. Okay, stop, 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 stop! Okay, let me just take a look real quick. Yikes. How am I supposed to do this? I'm sure this place has some sort of construction stuff I could use. Wow! A lot of goodies you boys mine up. But, okay, I have a fan, but I need some sort of raft. Oh, raft found. Okay. I like the music. Can I remove this? Nope. That rock is so sturdy, I moved the platform out from below it and it still stood still. What are you, what's your bitch ass woeing there? I wasn't anywhere close to you. If you boys don't mind, I will just take this. What you, what you guys, what you guys need a, a, a little bridge there anyways for? I suppose so no one trips, falls, and get in, uh, get injured on uh, injured on the job. Okay, I saw a fan. There it is. I also saw a battery somewhere. Wait, no, there was a battery over here. Bro, don't mind if I just help myself to this real quick. Thank you. I could attach two batteries to this, but that's fine. So there's a rock in the way, so let me just move aside a little bit. Snail, I need those. So the shrine's right there. I can make it to that. It's 
just straight across. No problem. But before that... I don't think this is the frog I need. No, I need the sticky frog. How did I get the rain avoiding? Like the non-slip armor again? Oh god. It's very lopsided. How? How? The weight should be more towards the middle. What the? Oh god. It's tilted. It's tilted a bit. It's not pointing in the angle correctly. What if I stand a little bit here? Point. Time to try to steer it. Uh-oh. 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 No! It's going completely in the wrong direction! We were almost there! And now it's heading backwards! What the hell is happening? I'm stuck! Link is drowning! Okay, can I stand somewhere to flip this real quick? Man, of course I can't reach it. Of course. I feel like I have no choice but to recall it. Let's see how far the recall goes. Oh, of course it just stays there for a good while before it even starts moving. Well, uh, this is royally screwed. Of course. There is no way for me to fix this. Oh, wait, there is... I know what to do. I know how to fix this. It's gonna cost me one ice fruit, but I know how to fix this. At least I hope I do. Look, there's a bunch of stuff underneath the water that it looks like you could explore. Wait. I can't by chance like just do this to launch like so the ricochet would go a little make me go a little bit that way almost there almost there it's okay it's okay I can use ultra hand and I could grab it over all right here we go just like that and boom Is this a blessing? This better be worth a blessing. It does not look like a blessing to me. It is a blessing! A diamond. Very nice. You know, I really should just defeat Ganondorf so I can watch videos breaking down the story, theories, all that stuff. Uh, 
Yeah, I was I was debating. Should I go somewhere else or should I finish exploring Terrytown? We're already here. Let's just finish exploring Terrytown. <sighs> what is this here? Uh, dude. Grant, Grante, son. Hi, hey, hi, hello. Are you ready for all your habitation dreams to come true? You're in luck. We're building dream homes. This plot will soon be the first rate home with sweeping views of Akala. A dream home of this caliber comes with a hefty price tag, but I assure you every rupee is well worth it. Aww. To learn more about this incredible opportunity, just head northwest to Terrytown and visit Hudson Cor Construction Corporation. I almost said corporation. <laughs> Buddy, you get paid just to stand there out in the middle of nowhere all day. The chances of someone like me walking by is so small. Man, that guy better be paid good. I hope he has some uh, sunscreen with him. Cap Sun ends in Sun. A customer, how interesting that you should arrive at this particular time to seek me out this time of day. If you, if I may dare to assume, you must be Hylian, a Hylian of the nocturnal variety. Yes, this is a village where many different folks gather. I offer pleasant sleep to all, regardless of their rank or where they come from, by the mercy of the goddess Hylia. Oh, humble servant led here by destiny. Are you in need of a place to respite? Wait, waterbed? A waterbed? Do they give me yellow hearts? It is a special bed that ensures the best sleep possible by maintaining your posture according to your anatomy. Would you guys believe I've never tried a waterbed before? I want to. Oh, it's 9 in the morning. Comparing to a regular bed, or compared to a regular bed, it offers your mind and body an awakening that is very vital indeed. I'm okay, thanks though. I wonder if a waterbed really would give you yellow hearts. So what happened to everyone who lives in Terrytown? Did they all get like kicked out? Just so this place could become like a, you know, a construction company place? Cuz it doesn't seem like this place is really a town anymore. Lived by people, well, except for that guy and his wife. Hey, these two are still here. Just yesterday, she was telling- Ooh. Ooh, you two have a kid now? Just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it. Though I do understand, I know you're worried about Mad Madison moving. <sighs> That's what- I've never seen the, the name Madison be spelled like that. I think these guys have a kid now. Well, I could be wrong. Let's see. I hope you guys remember me. I was at your wedding. Man, uh, Manari told me that Madison has been acting real cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. <sighs> Please, if you, keep, if you keep acting like this, it will only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for a Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send-off. <clears throat> You're right, of course. It's a special journey, and we should do something big for her. Huh? Ah! A customer? 
damn it, they don't. Th oh, they don't remember me. I was at your wedding, guys. Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? Yeah, cause my my uh my old house kind of got kind of got took over. You know, it says all were bed in Japanese, but this is the English version, so uh, we don't have that luxury. So I'm kind of in need for uh, new real estate. There's uh, that's no surprise. Our unique modular building building style uh, lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. Wait, can I do that in this game? Maybe I could build my own house by using Ultra Hand and fusing different house parts together. Wouldn't that be interesting? But I'm so sorry. We're not. We're still not ready to open for business. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's you. <gasps> Look who it is. It sure has been a while. Hey, they do remember me. Oh, that makes me happy. You know, thanks to you, Terrytown is doing real good. Nowadays, it's kind of a village that welcomes folks from all over to come live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Nice. Congrats, guys. Looks uh, looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. Hey, I doubt that. I, I bet she looks more like her mother. Mm. My little Madison. Mm. Hudson, you've got to get it together. Oh. Sorry, I've got to go. We're kind of busy right now. Oh. I'm going back to work now, Ronson. But don't, uh, pfft, I'm going back to work now, Ronson. But don't worry. I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. Madison's independence. Wow. Yo, if I'm gonna be honest, dude scored himself a bad one. What? This married couple runs the company that has been key to projects during the long reconstruction of Hyrule, including the creation of Lookout Landing and the Skyview Towers. So these two are responsible. Wow, they really, uh... Well, they did a lot since the last game. Did they, like, tear down all the previous Sheikah Tower and Shrines, too? Wait, no, uh, the shrines were replaced, not by them, but the towers, they replaced the towers with something else. Well, no, they put in, they put up new towers, whatever. Hudson has unparalleled skill as the builder, and together with the Gerudo Taylor Ronson, they helped find Ter found Terrytown. They also have a daughter named Madison. Little curious, how, how big is Madison? Because I said previously, I'm assuming this game is like six years after the last game, just because this game came out six years after. So, how how old is their kid? Because if their kid's what, like 20 years old, then that, that'll tell you how long it's been since the last game. Mm. I kind of want to see what this side quest is about. But Hudson looks sad. He appears to be worried about something. I want to see what this side quest is about. I want to see how big their their daughter is so I can get a sense of how much time has passed. We were so deep in conversation. We hardly made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say, let me guess, son and done? It's son and done. But you have a daughter. And here I am, president of the company, and I'm, uh, I'm supposed to be strong and decisive. But when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. Child? Ugh. Ugh. I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. But Madison is, well, soon she'll... Soon she's going to leave and move to my wife's birth birthplace, Gerudo Town. Ooh. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine while they're very young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them, someone comes from someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been to, uh, I've been told that for a Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. Well, it's more of an honor for me because no men are allowed in and I'm allowed in, so it's a bigger honor for me, but that's besides the point. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but I I don't realize how this were how this would be so hard for me. Ah, sorry you had to listen to me go on and on like that. I really should just get back to the job site soon. Oh. 
I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I'm so but I have so much um, so much work to do. My wife has her hands full too. What with preparing Madison for the move, she's so busy she can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. So the way he's saying it, she sounds young. She sounds like she's a very young kid. Which, hey, my theory about six years passing since the last game may not be too far. Too far off. That's the company's storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something is blocking it from the inside. Okay. I can do that. Let's see what the, uh, the problem is. Of course, there's no cave entrance anywhere near here. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Uh-oh. Gotta do this part slowly. I want to try to find one more shrine so we have eight lights of blessings. Isn't there? Yeah, there's a goddess statue right here. It may be a little, but it's that little is a big help. Uh, so I already went there. What about this building right here? There's no one in here. I think that about does it. We could try to find the cave. For the bottom of Terrytown. I mean, it has to be around here somewhere, right? Unless I need to get in there from the, the depths. Okay... Both Hudson regret they are too busy, especially- Yeah, but I don't know where Madison is. It looks like she's in the warehouse, but I need to figure out how to get in there. Warehouse my ass, that's just your own house. Ah. Uh... You know, just because I'm so curious about this side quest, I'm gonna look it up. Wow, I got a glimpse of it from the thumbnail. She has his hair. Oh. Oh, so I didn't even need to, uh... I didn't even need to... Open the door. Oops. God damn it, Rivali's Gale, why can't you exist in this game? So I did get a glimpse of her. She does look very young, so maybe six years is uh, not a bad assumption. <clears throat> And now we just climb. A nice long climb. Let me just check my Pokemon Go real quick. Uh, see if the things I left in the gym are still there so I can get 50 Pokecoins.
for the next day. Okay, two things are left in gyms. My slacking has been in the gym for nearly 12 hours, 11 hours, 57 minutes. And my Salamence has been in a gym for way longer. Has been in the gym for a day, 11 hours, 56 minutes. No shiny Bulbasaur, just let me check these and get these things real quick. Need a Reno, not shiny. No shiny Mudkip. No shiny Lunatone. No shiny Tauros. Okay. Bruh, Link, you really can't jump the fence like that? Uh, okay. So, Madison is just upstairs. Oh, there's a Gorhan sleeping there. Guys, you really gotta keep your doors locked. Look at that! She has her dad's hair! Good morning is Savata. Good day is Savak. And goodbye is... What is goodbye? Link, you cannot be doing this. Don't frighten me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away and on my big journey. I can barely see you. The window from the light is kind of obscuring you. I'm doing all the studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, uh, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son... <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. Every son. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too. So I've made it my Miss Son to memorize as many words as I can. Hey, would you like to learn some words too, mister? If so, your timing couldn't be better. I'm about to I'm about to go give a lesson to Granny uh, Monari. You should come too. After some instruct sons from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. <laughs> For this lesson, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Let's see the, let's see the future Leonardo here. How would she know what that looks like? Wait, she's never been there before. How would she know what this looks like? I mean, yeah, her mother could describe it for her. But for her to draw it pretty accurately is kind of mind-blowing. Let's just uh take her hood off real quick so we don't look even more like a creep. Why do I have my swimming armor on? Uh, just so I don't, you know, scare the kids. My god, Link's hair is sexy. Hi. Granny Minari, Savak. Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> of course. And it's a special okay, okay son, too, because a new student is joining the class. Oh. Okay, now pay a tense, son. Granny Minari, it's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for granny? Hmm. Oh, God. Uh, can you imagine, like, in, if in, like, Urban Dictionary we actually have this? Like, the Gerudo language, a couple of words here and there. I don't know, and I don't want to get these wrong, so I'm going to look this up. <laughs> I'm cheating I'm cheating on day one of class. Let's see. Granny is Granny is Vaba. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. You're doing really good. Maybe you've done this before? Ah, ah yes. Vaba. It was on the tip of my tongue. Well, wow, now that there's one more Gerudo speaker around here... What? Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. 
hee <laughs> hee. Well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown. So if every son can talk like that there, <coughs> then Mama won't be so lonesome. Well, I suppose it wouldn't make sense if she said lonesome. I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but now I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm, I've got it. Papa is always so busy, so I'll just make it my Miss Son to help him with his work. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna ride the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. That sounds dangerous, kid. Maybe don't do that. Aww. Oh, Madison. She she had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Haggy was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Huh. Is it because he paywalls it? I want to ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction construct son site and help him with his work. Get his work done, whatever. But I forgot the guy won't give me permiss son to ride unless I pay him. Oh, don't worry about it, I already paid him. The cheap bastard. I never had to I never had to pay until he took over. Alright, let me talk to your daddy real quick and get his ass fired. I guess I'm gonna have to hop ab aboard the rail car without him noticing. Oh. Cover his eyes or something. <laughs> so you want me to. Oh, guess not. I was gonna use that to cover his eyes. Uh, let's see... <clears throat> Ooh, I could use one of those. Don't get scared by this kid. You don't have to worry, just go handle your business. Probably dangerous for a kid to ride that. And... Pfft. Uh... Okay. Here, just attach it like that. Nope. And I deserve that. Oh my god, stop attaching to it! My god, why can't this thing stand up straight? I don't even know if I'm doing this right. You know I can see you, right? Oh. Looking this up. Wow. So it really is as simple as me just covering his face with a, a wooden board. But the video has another another one being used, not the square one, but the the thinner one. Where is it? See, I'm just scratching my ass real quick. You know, sometimes a man just gets an itch and he needs to scratch it. Oh, wait a second. I see the video. There's a wooden board right next to her. Oh, that's, that's Kilton. I'm like, why is there a guy standing next to a, a, a rocket? I mean, she looks... six. 
She looks like she could be six, maybe five, give or take, like, didn't have a kid until a year after they married, you know? My parents didn't have a kid until after, until two years after they married, being my sister. There you go! I love how that guy just stands there like, hmm, I s why is, why can't I see anything? I don't know. You can go now. This is ridiculous. I mean, technically, I've already paid him to use it. So why can't I just use it and bring her along? What? Oh. I thought we were going to be able to see it. Did he just, like, knock the board out? He's like, what is it? And just knocks it over. Where'd she go? There she is! Oh. Hey! You didn't meant, son! You were coming here too, mister! It's strange, Pop keeps mumbling to himself. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh. You know what? I take it back. You're right. She does look like you. Oh, it's you! So, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Madison. And well, I came up. What I came up with is this. Gerudo Town is pretty far from here, and there are plenty of monsters along the way. It's so just tell her it's dangerous to go alone. Take this and just arm her, and she'll be good to go. I'm kidding, of course. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special air balloon, but I want to make it really special, something just for her. Not, I'm not wait. I'm just not sure how to do that. Special or, special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. Okay, as long as you like it. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen Sunday lines around here. I could use them to make a dye. Bet I'd get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. But for me to d Oh, God. <sighs> Fine. I've seen a sunder line here. I, uh, it was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. The sky, huh? Do I have ten? <clears throat> Pretty sure sunder lines are higher than that. <clears throat> Okay, I do have ten. There you go, bud. Consider it a late wedding gift. That's awesome, you did it. You really and truly collected ten of them. What's this? You found them all for us? Looks like I have no problem dyeing the balloon the color of the sun. Aw, I wasn't any help at all. I failed my Miss Sun. That's not true, Madison. Your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know. Why don't you help me with that? I will. I will, papa. I'll help you make the sun. <laughs> Quick and quality. Blink and we're done. That's why every sun chooses hut sun construction sun. I don't know. I was about to say soon. Construction soon. Ooh. Wow, look at that! At last, it's done! And morning is already here. I'm just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a bit longer. Maybe, like, put a blanket over her? She's not cold? I mean, I know she's oh. sleeping on top of the blanket. Oh, 
Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? Oh, uh, no, don't tell me. <sighs> yes, her escort. Oh. Oh, I, th I thought she uh, missed her escort. Never mind. Let's go together then in Madison's special sun balloon. Would you join us as well? Would be nice if there was a cutscene to show it. Oh, there is! Wow, I feel like I've turned into a bird. Oh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You don't want to fall from this height. Hey, everyone, take a look at that. Beautiful. Don't stare at it too long, though. You'll go blind. The sun is waking up. Oh. It's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Terrytown, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. Oh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. Oh, this is so sweet. It's so beautiful. Oh, this is so this is so wholesome, so incredible. I love it. Dang, you know, I want to have kids one day. But that's long from now. Papa, your present made me very happy. Madison, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back any Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, it's time. Oh. You can trust me. I'll take care of your Papa and Mama. Don't worry, you can go. Oh. Go become a wonderful Vi and come back with lots of stories to tell. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometime. When I do, let's play together. <laughs> Thank you, every son. I mean, Sark, 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 Sarkso, Sark, Sarkso. I'm going to become a great Vi like Mama, and I'll meet a wonderful Vo like Papa. Hi. Savark, every son. Oh, cheer up there, buddy. Ronson, did I manage to keep a smile on my face? <sighs> yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now, this is the, this is the start of a new life for us, too. Mm -hmm. Let's pull ourselves together, if you're ready. Mm. Yes, you're right, of course. Ahem! <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Ooh. Ah, sorry about that. You know... You really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sunderlines were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thank you, please take this. Okay. Oh. And this is from me. Another silver? Yep. Ooh. You've already helped me so much. But if you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on Madison. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town? Well, actually, about that. I'm the only exception. <laughs> Alright, I guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> now, let's get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? Alright, now that the kid's out of the house, you two have plenty of free time. You can, uh, you know, make another kid if you want. In peace. <laughs> Anyways, what'd you miss? You missed a uh, pretty wholesome side quest. You know, it's it's kind of poetic. First time we come to Terrytown, we help this guy not only build the entire town, but also get married. And now that we've revisited Terrytown, he's seeing his daughter off. Not exactly seeing him off, seeing her off. I'm sorry, seeing her off to college, but still seeing her off nonetheless. What I'm trying to say is, a Bokoblin's most distinguishing feature is its nose. 
I don't know if that's the most distinguishing feature. What you'll find squished upon its face like gloof. Its ears, on the other hand, are quite floopy, and its horn goes zwiff. Mmm, that description of yours. Can't say I get the picture. What's going on? Ah, hello. I appreciate you helping me with Madison. That was a rough patch there, but I feel a lot better about things thanks to you. Ronson is back to working on those dream homes, so I better get back to work too. Man, this guy's all about the grind. You gotta respect that. Ah, sorry. If you don't watch out, I'll start talk up. Uh, yeah, talking your ear off again. You've been a good listener. Thanks for that. This is Kilton. He moved into Terrytown the other day. He asked me to make a sculpture of a monster for him. Sorry, sorry. I am an awful describer of things. Let me guess. The side quest is you want me to give you a picture? Yep. I would draw you a detailed picture of a bokoblin if I could, but there is no art to be found in the bones of my body. What? But fret not, I, Kilton, will describe the monster to you with more enthusiasm and much zest. Surely that will help. Er, uh, well, it would be better if I had a detailed picture to refer to. <laughs> Watch what I'm about to do. Okay, first I need to find a bokoblin. Watch what I'm about to do. Uh, I need a I need a place that surely has bokoblins. Let me think. Where's a place that guarantee has bokoblins? A blood moon just happened too. Place that guarantee has bokoblins. Why am I blanking on this? The place, the only place that comes to mind, guaranteed to have bokoblins right away is right outside Hatino Village, the little, the little uh, woods right here. Mm, fine, let's check it out. Peep out what I'm about to do. Like, honestly, I hope what I'm about to do is going to be detailed enough for these guys. And I also need to be able to do this, uh, you know. Yeah. Don't mind me stepping all over your carrots. Let's see. No, those aren't the enemies I'm looking for. Wait, I need to turn these guys off before they kill the Bokoblins. I hear something, though that could just be the chews. There's one. Okay. You know what? I think I could do better.
Oh, that was that was a great shot when he sort of bent down. <laughs> Pause on this. Oh, god damn it! I should have just kept one of those pictures instead of trying to get a better shot. Okay, let's try to get away from the silver book album first, and we try to get some nice, uh, some, uh, you know, detailed assets of the book album. Are you serious? Okay, uh... Man, I want to get a good shot of this. So when I show the picture to them, it's like, here you go, and it's like a, a really good ass shot. Like, a, you know, a good ass shot. Okay. This might not be the best place to take a picture of a Bokoblin. I'm trying to think, where else has a has instantly a Bokoblin? You know, they're the most common enemy in this game, yet I can't think of a single place to find them quickly. Aren't there some outside of, of, uh, around here? I know there's some here, like right outside, but they're riding horses. I can get a good ass shot from there. I just killed all the ones right outside Terrytown too. Mm. Why can't I think of a single place to find Bo Coblins? Fine, I'll just try to take a picture of the silver one. That silver one just now. Alright, we're gonna take a good ass shot of some silver cheeks. Y'all ready? I can't believe I'm doing this. If I could, I would get a, a picture of the front. But I think the ass is funnier, since you can't necessarily see too much in the front. I see the silver one. Oh, what if I wait until they fall asleep? Then I could take a nice picture of their package. If you get what I mean. Is this what stalkers do on the regular? They sneak around, they hide, and from a distance they just, uh, you know, do this. Oh, that's a good shot. Wait a second, that's a really good shot. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. <laughs> You know what? I'll I'll let you live. You you were a great model for me. <laughs> okay, let's get back to Terry Town. You know, I didn't. I didn't uh, not notice that this side quest said one. This side quest says collection one. So if this works, we can take we can take multiple cheeks, <laughs> take take multiple pictures of cheeks. I can't believe like. I can do this. It would be hilarious if this actually works. 
In a way, it'd be even funnier if it didn't. God, I hope this works. It's like, here, I took a great picture for you, and all you see is, you know... The Gluteus Maximus. Is that what it's called? Oh, I'm very curious. Let's see, let's see if this actually works. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Oh, what the hell? Let's see. Let's see. Will this work? What I'm trying to say is, a Bokoblin's most dis- oh. How about this picture? <laughs> that, that, that's it exactly! That's a Bokoblin I'm looking for! <laughs> Ah, now this is a good picture! Let me use it for reference and I can make the sculpture no problem! <laughs> May I borrow it? <laughs> of course! Ooh. I wonder, will they actually make a statue based on what I show them? Or is it gonna be the same statue all the time? Great, leave it to me. I'll get made sun and done. <laughs> <sighs> Oh! Oh, you made it a silver one! Oh, I kinda- I, I kinda didn't think you would do it based on the color of it. I thought it would just be a generic one that could match for any of them. Look at this, it's a very monstrous- it's- uh, whatever. <clears throat> so I assume if I gave you a picture of a Red Bull Coblin, then you would just do that. Now, the, now, pretty poli- prettiest please, would you pick the perfect sp- oh! Wait, so I get to do that? Wait. Bwah. I've got a rule against making that kind of decision. Too much responsibility, not my thing. Really? Can I fuse this, I wonder? Nope. Wow. They, they just took the render of a Bokoblin in this game, and they just, you know... Oh, so I get to... Wow, this is actually kind of cool! You can do this however you want! Oh, question is, how do I want this? Uh... The Bokoblin's probably gonna be the smaller of the enemies, so I could have it, like, menacingly watch up there, or maybe approaching out from the cave. Or maybe I could do it like this, just, you know, kind of lurking in the shadows, right? Nah, that's not gonna work. Uh... Do I want it this way? It's kind of cool how, you know, the three shadows... It's not shadows, the opposite of shadows. Uh... Should I do it on top? I mean, I could have, like, a moblin here, another enemy here, like, the, the trio of enemies or whatever just displayed up here. Oh, Lizalfos, there's that too. You know what, sure. How's that? Not bad. I hope I can rearrange it whenever I want. And it's not just stuck there permanently. There's too many enemies in this game for them to be able to let me make a sculpture of every single one. Because there's also every color variation I'm thinking as well. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, come look-see. I present you with the famed Bokoblin. 
Do not fear, draw near! This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place. Well, not exactly. You could, you know, find a bokoblin, gang up on it, knock it over the noggin, chain it up, make sure it can't move anywhere, and then you can admire it safely when it can't attack you. <coughs> when you look at it, it is rather cute. Really? The sight has stolen your eyes. Now give me your ears, all of them. And then the scene from Robin Hood Men in Tights, they literally rip off their ear and just throw it to you. It's like, that's disgusting. With a further ado, this adorable cuddle of bow monster is called a bow coblin. I'm sure everyone in Hyrule knows that. Uh, they make houses, they make house and home through, what? They make house and home throughout Hyrule and are perhaps the monster you've rubbed shoulder bones with most. With their large, swoopy ears and cute, gloofy snouties, one can one can't help but want to give them a, a tight squeeze. <laughs> a tight squeeze after the picture I showed. Okay, I get it. I get it. You know, you you won't be saying that once an army of bokoblins start storming Terrytown. You're like they're cute. Don't hurt them. Okay, I got a free monster extract. Great. I wonder what happens if you do that with an arrow. Okay, I get it. I don't want to read anymore, damn it. A Horriblin! I don't know how easy it would be for me to take a picture of Horriblin cheeks. Oh, I could use a- I could do a Horriblin in the cave! That actually works! I want to see though, can I move this? I can, I think. Okay, I can, so I can rearrange it however I want. I'm just curious, like, you're, you're sure? Uh, it would have been hilarious if I could fuse it with the weapon. Okay, so that's nice, I can- I can move it whenever I want. So it's only one Bokoblin. Okay. So I guess I'll try to make it like the most powerful of enemies because I kind of kind of unintentionally did that with Bokoblin. So the strongest of all enemies, at least in this version of the game, would be silver. In master mode, it would be gold. Oh, imagine a gold, uh, like a, an entire um, display of all the gold enemies. Wouldn't that be awesome to see? I'm sure someone's already done it. Uh, I think that's about it for now. We've seen Terrytown. We've done some stuff in Terrytown. I'm sure there's still plenty to do. Uh, I'll be honest, I kind of have to use the bathroom real bad. And it's, oops, it's already past midnight. I think this is... A, Pretty good place to stop. Wait, no. Wait, uh. I wanted to find one more shrine, but, uh. Easier said than done. Mm, this place looks pretty devoid of shrines over here. <sighs> what was going on here again? Like, why didn't I get this? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to deal with that another time. Not by chance any other shrines I could spot from here, right? Nope, I already did that shrine. Oh yeah, I think that's enough. I think that's, uh... Good place to end this. We're not exactly at three hours yet, but you know what? Close enough. Okay, I'm gonna get off now. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.